Hi everyone, in this video we'll take a look at using the Office Flipboard, how to cut, copy, and paste text to another location, and also how to drag and drop text so we can move uh, information or text in our document from one area to another without using the Flipboard. So the Flipboard is a handy feature of Microsoft Office. It allows us to store up to 24 items. Unlike the System Flipboard, which is a part of the Windows operating system, which allows us to store the uh, one <coughs> item that we have previously selected. And it'll, we can also view a history of what we've copied or cut in our clipboard. So if you take a look at the Home tab in the Flipboard group, you'll notice that it has some functionality on the screen. So let's do go ahead and highlight a paragraph of text. Again, we could triple click it. <coughs> and it activates the cut and copy. So let's go ahead and do uh, talk about both here. So if we copy some text, place our cursor in another area of the window, and then paste it, you'll notice that it leaves our original text in place. I'm going to go up to the quick access toolbar and undo what we've done there. Now if we cut that text, so if I choose the cut option, you'll see that it immediately removes that text from our page. And now pasting places the text that we have removed into the new area of our document. <clears throat> so copying uh, stores a copy of what we selected, and then we can paste that, leaving the original text. Cutting, however, removes whatever text we have highlighted or elements highlighted, and pasting places that what, which we have removed into the new area of our document. Now, what's nice about the clipboard in Office is if we clip, click on the clipboard launcher, you'll notice it has a list of all the items on our clipboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight a word. Remember, we can double click on an individual word to highlight it and do a copy. And it's added to the clipboard we can highlight an entire paragraph and click copy and it's added to the clipboard. We can highlight an entire paragraph and cut it and it's added to the clipboard. We can additionally go to another program such as a browser window and let's find some text here. We'll go to Word Training. And grab some text. And now I'm going to copy it. I'm going to use the shortcut Control C. And then if we go back to Microsoft Word, you can see we have that item in our clipboard. And it is denoted that it is from our web browser using this little icon. If we selected text from Excel, it would show that item with an Excel icon as well. And using our history here, we can actually left click one time to paste whatever it is into our document. And we have some options. If you scroll over an item and click on the drop down arrow, we can delete it from our clipboard. It doesn't remove whatever we've pasted onto our document. It just removes it from our clipboard. We have some options uh, about how we're viewing the clipboard. We can actually form a list of clipboard items and then paste every single one of them with one click using this paste all. We can clear all of the items from our clipboard by clicking on clear all. And something else that's a nice feature is if we're, particularly if we're pasting from another uh, area like uh, a browser window, so say we've highlighted this text, 
and now we're going to paste it I'm not sure why it's taking so long I guess there's a lot of formatting in there what's nice is now Microsoft presents us with this little drop down menu with paste options and you'll notice that scrolling over the options gives you a screen tip so we can merge formatting so it'll it'll leave formatting from the web page and the word document we can select keep text only and keep text only is a great option for pasting from an online source because now we've removed the formatting from the web page and you'll notice that it's really uh, in line with the formatting that we have existing in our document. So uh, cutting, copying, and pasting is very easy. We have a history of the last 24 items in our clipboard. We can close the clipboard. And finally, a few shortcuts that are nice to use for cutting, copying, and pasting uh, are if you highlight some text, hold down the control key and click C that's copy hold down the control key and press V that does a paste hold down control and press X and that does a cut and then we can do a control V again so right in row at the bottom of our keyboard XCV is cut copy paste so hold down the control key and X for cut hold down the control key and C for copy, hold down the control key and tap the V for paste. Be careful you don't want to hold down the control key and then press the V key for too long because you'll notice it pastes several times. So just click that V key quickly to paste one time. Finally in Microsoft Word we can, without even cutting and copying, we can move text by dragging it. So I'm going to highlight some text and I'll hold my cursor over top of the paragraph left click and hold down hold down the left click left mouse button and drag your cursor and I hope you can see this in the video a dotted insertion point appears where the text will be pasted or moved to in this case and just with the click of a, a mouse and holding down uh, and dragging where you want the text to be now we've moved the text to a new area in our document. So we're going to highlight the text, left click, hold down your mouse button, move the text to where you want it to appear, and you've dragged and dropped your text. So in your document, practice cutting, copying, and pasting. Use the clipboard, see if you can paste multiple items into your document from the clipboard. and. Uh, view the history of what you've copied and, copied and pasted and also try dragging and dropping some text by highlighting it, left clicking and holding down the left mouse button, moving it to where you want to drop the, the text that you have highlighted uh, and, and do a drag and drop with some highlighted text. Thanks.